yo, early YouTubians, VOD viewers, welcome and thank you for being here. It's early Thursday, let's get it. Welcome to the stream, I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're gonna play some games, we're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good chatter and don't be yeah, a Yeah, thank you for being here, thank you, thank you. song sometimes we get it midstream usually it's just early girl by the way uh Welcome notice my awesome street. shirt i hope you like the vibe if you're watching on youtube guy. like and we're subscribe little jam jams. we're gonna play some games we're gonna clap some cheeks what's up Alloy? what's up tv skills chatter, and don't be a piece binks binks what's up the mix binks 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 and don't be a piece Apparently that was really loud, I'm sorry. I hope you like the vibe. Binks. The the hiss Binks. hiss of my drink red lines. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Binks. 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 His name is pronounced like Loki without the L. I hope you like the vibe, Binks. What? Binks. <laughs> like and subscribe, Binks. Binks. What does that mean? I hope you like the vibe, Binks. Binks. Like and subscribe. Is it Tone Loke? Tone Loke? All right, I'll get the intrusive thoughts out. I just want to reset the playlist there. Welcome everyone to early Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Watch on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. Khaled says, where is the game? Oh man, you can't, you can't be starting YouTube chat. You can't be starting YouTube chat with an L like that. I am watching UFC 300. I'm gonna watch the whole undercard and main card. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Oh, 2 d Skills, thank you so much for the gifty. Appreciate it. Explode, make sure to get 2D Skills some Nux if you're here. What do I have for the main events? Um, it's Pierre Hall, right? No, well, who's the main event? Sorry. Project any strong up? I don't know. I haven't built anything. A hill, not hall. Sorry. Um, probably got Alex, man. It's kind of nasty. Ooh. This is what we I've been doing some testing uh, with a few different decks. Here, here's here's full inked ramp. If people weren't here yesterday and couldn't see it, I finally completed a full inked classic ramp deck. It's beautiful. This is the low curve C3. We'll probably play this we next week. Fan. Uh, I think that could be really good. Yo, Robica! But thank you both so much for the subs. Appreciate you. 
The sub streaks are getting so long. Um, you, you know, Lambie posted a list somewhat similar to this. I mean, very different ideas, but um, I really think that like new Doom Wave type deck, but with Sandman instead of Wave, is is really interesting. Uh, I think he had some really cool ideas with how to do it with uh, Silky Smooth. Probably want Angela in here instead of Maximus too. Uh, some cool things that can happen there. Um, this is the last deck I was testing too. It is a um, just a new Patriot Surfer with Mockingbird Zemo. I saw some people playing some versions of this, but this just feels very very solid. Uh, Rogue is also like really good right now. I feel. Um, I, I, I've really liked the idea of Rogue, but we're going to make, I think, let's do Strong Surfer again. I really, really enjoyed Strong Surfer. Probably make some slight adjustments to it. Um, Will U.S. Agent make havoc happen? Will U.S. Agent make havoc happen? U.S. Agent make havoc happen. I don't understand what that question means. Swordmaster? 37 is pretty good. Why aren't you... <laughs> Why aren't you adding to my deck? I think I do want Sarah in the list now. I was kind of like apprehensive of playing Sarah in the list. I'm feeling a little bit more inclined to do it now. And just try and do like kind of like a bursty discard hand. And then just like hold the Lady Sif if we oh, need sure, to early. There's some good things that can happen there. Yo, Ramiltron, thank you so much. C C3 list looks actually great. Yeah, it's like super low curve. I think I'd cut the Rhino now. I was just playing the Rhino because of the hot location, potentially. Uh, let's get Strong Guy in the deck. I what I had for my other, other choices here. I don't remember if we had Swarm or not. I just want to go like Brood Forge. We're, we're kind of in need of points. Root just good as a 2-4 that can kind of stack on anything. Um, Probably fit Zemo in. We're not going to run Brood Abs. I think Zemo is a fine fit. I get 25 deck slots? Nah, I just keep making decks uh, when I still have like the old ones. Yeah, Dakin, Dakin, Dakin Wing. We even need Wing. We need more discarders for sure. I don't want Gambit. It feels pretty good with how tall a lot of people are going. Skillmonger? Skillmonger with Blade is a little iffy. Maybe cut like Zemo with the Killmonger. Go. Nova. Killmonger. Really light on low cost. Maybe we can cut the Rouge. I like the Rouge though, man. Wong, I don't think Wong is super necessary. If you're gonna do Wong, you kinda wanna do Brood Abs, man. Mm. 
Hmm. Maybe do you just still go Colleen Wing? Like hand thing later? I kind of want to hope in the deck though. Hope with this many threes feels really good. We're probably just over over <laughs> encumbered on threes at this point. Maybe cut Gambit for wing. Why not Shaw? What would you replace Shaw with? We only get one Surfer trigger. Like obviously the Nova trigger is pretty good too. Let's go with Forge as well. You're starting to you're starting to convince me here. We only have two discarders though. This is what we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. Definitely need more discarders than this. Hummer Nova might be cope. Is Proxima really worth here? Yeah, Proxima's crazy in the deck. Proxima is kind of the whole reason to play the deck, if I'm being honest with you. This looks very similar to my old version. Maybe we don't need the Brood Forge stuff. You just have enough power elsewhere. Hmm. I feel like Wing will be super awkward. Can be. Maybe we cut the Forge Brood. I really want the Rogue. Maybe like cut Forge Brood. Throw in Sarah. Like another two. I don't think you definitely need Sarah. I think that's uh, wrong. Like Hope kind of fills the gap that Sarah, that Sarah does in... Um... The, the thing with Hope, right? If you play Hope, you play a three drop on Hope on four. You play two three drops on five, two three drops on six. You're getting just as much value as if you played Sarah. And I don't think we need both. Are you just now noticing tags are smart, handsome, talented? I did that a few days ago. Hmm. I, I don't think we need Sarah. Because Sarah also messes with Lady Sif a lot. If you ever draw Sarah, then you just can't play Lady Sif and it feels really bad. Any more proactive cards? Cards we can just play out on curve. What cards would fit that mold? Hope, Dakin, Stronk. Gambit Surfer, Lady Sif, sometimes a bit more reactive. Maybe go with like Swarms? Swarm and another three. Kind of interesting. You can Sif on three and Ghost Rider on four if you Sarah, but then we have to add Ghost Rider in the deck too, which is trash in the deck, except we, unless we get that exact line. Swarms can be really good with Wing. Helps us find more ways to get power. Can get a little bit awkward if it's stuck in hand at the end. So we'll have to keep our eye on that. And then if we're going to add another discard trigger, we probably want another discarder. Which would look like either Swordmaster, Corvus maybe. Corvus is interesting. Stormmaster is just a 3-7 is pretty good. I do like targeted discards quite a bit more. Maybe with three discarders, we're still fine.
Lad, Lad messes with the Lady Sif Proxima stuff, which is arguably the strongest thing that the deck does. You could try with Swordmaster. Let's try with Swordmaster. I, I was thinking about the Killmonger, but if you run Killmonger, you don't really want to run Blade, right? Like, if you're running Killmonger and you ever play Blade early, like, it's a net zero power card. It feels really bad. And I'd want Nova, too. So, like, I, I was trying to look at the deck replacing Nova with, um, like, Nova... Or Blade with, like, Nova Killmonger, but then it's like we were just really light on discards. So it felt really weird. Uh, we'll start here and we'll, we'll make some adjustments as we need. Thank you for being here, everyone. I appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. No, Crystal's terrible. Shaw, Shaw's interesting. If we go the Nova Killmonger vibe, you want Shaw. If we're just using Surfer as our only... I ran, uh, it did the wrong deck. <laughs> Classic Binks. Classic Binks. I close everything. Give me a second here. Classic Binks. Oh, I first game Dara with the deck that I didn't mean to pick. And I'm not going to draw ramp. Noted. All right, well, we're not playing any. All right, we're going to retreat. <laughs> we can't play anything next turn either. What a nightmare. Nikita with Swarms is so good. Hmm. I would need Brood in the deck if I was going to do that line. It's an interesting idea. I want Brood and Shaw in the deck. And probably Forge still. She would pick the wrong deck because Utopia would have been cracked. Yeah, indubitably. We don't even need Sarah. Our opponent will give us Sarah. Mm. Just do this in case of like Mobius. Uh, it does work with Daken too. You're not wrong. Yeah, it's just a rule that you have to, um, you have to get District X. Mm. 
You always steal the Sarah. What do I want to do with the rest of my energy? Let's just play the... 13. Just play the 13. Then we have a little bit of flexibility with what we do next turn. Not even Agent? Uh, I mean, it's we can only play one card with the Doom next turn. Not even Agent. Would have been crushed. In this house, we win three lanes in profit. Good thing, good thing you played Agent, as I was saying. In this house, we win three lanes profit. Spooky. Oh! <laughs> Holy, dude! <laughs> Double Proxima? Are you kidding me? They played 22 power, man! <laughs> what the hell was that? Double Proxima? Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. They thought there was no shot they were losing that. Hey, JJ Rook. Streamer battles galore. Sagittillum. Must be done. Maybe I don't play the blade middle because I want to play hope middle. Might have been a mistake. I see totally messed up the iPhone version of this game. Common iPhone user L. Set up for double six. Or double three. I mean, there's a world where we just play Gambit Surfer next turn. There's a world where we just Gambit Surfer and vibe. Trying to overwhelm them with storms. It's a bloodstone. Scary card. I can kitty um I can kitty vision next turn is a little little spooky. Uh but we very often kill We very often kill one of these two. Just kind of cracked. Just hope that it hits the swarm. Can't really play the Lady Sif, otherwise it'll always discard Surfer. Discard Sif now, we're in some trouble, but... Just don't hit the Okoye, please. 
Nice. I consider that an absolute win. Stops their vision from getting the buff. It's just a Nova. He didn't want the, uh, I guess they just didn't want the on reveal to happen. It's strong guy being strong. They're gonna have a really hard time winning middle and winning like right or left because Kitty itself just doesn't do it middle. Um, and if they kill my blade with Skillmonger, then nothing moves anyway. We're still probably just fine. Maybe Skillmonger can find a way to beat us. They only have three cards in hand. I don't think we need any more right. 12 right, 13 left, pretty sizable lead middle, we're in a good spot. Yeah, this is what the deck wants to do, so it's nice though that we got to have that happen. I do, I am liking the swarm stuff. Uh, yeah, RSM is, is awesome. I want to um, very much so uh, win Infinity Conquest with RSM. Is that gonna win the middle? Might be close. It does by one. Not near strong enough. Victory. Yeah, pinging off and stopping their Elsa Bloodstone turn was was crucial there. I was wondering why Corvus went middle, but it's because I, I pinged off their Hope Summers that turn. That's right. Isn't that last card with Strong Guy? For them? Maybe. I'd be surprised if they didn't want to just kill Monger Strong Guy that turn then, right? Because they just kill Monger Kittied, and Strong Guy is just a lot better. Hadn't exactly killed Hope. No, I think I was fine if I killed the Elsa, too. I think I'm fine if I kill the Elsa as well. It's if I hit the Okoye, then I'm in trouble. We're cooking with gas, man. This is feeling really nice. Every hand I'm getting feels really good. Any ongoing cards in my deck? Strong guy. I do indeed. Problem with Sif is that it will go middle, so I can't play it. I think we just deck and... No, then we lose a draw. It's a 1 in 6 to hit Proxima. No, let's just play Dakin and lose a draw. It's not that big of a deal. We can also play a Swarm in Dakin and not lose a draw. Then we have less inconsistency here. There's actually a really good chance we just lose a draw anyway with this becoming hub. So let's just play Swordmaster. I think it's fine. That's a bad one to hit, but it's okay. Obviously, like, probably the worst one that we could have hit. I think we just send this now. Try and ping the Dazzler. One and three. But also hit the Swarm. Could also hit Proxima. It's three, three out of five good hits. Hard to say no to that if you're asking me. Brother... <laughs> Mobius player. Mobius player. 
Craig Mobius, I see. Why are you playing Mobius, man? Zabu got nerfed. Why are you ruining my life? Interesting, very interesting indeed. Now, we're not getting any Dazzler buffage. This is true, if we make this play. Can we count on this not being real Mysterio? They played it last turn when they only thought seven was here. So they were looking at three to two and two to seven. Right might be the most likely. This might be closer than we think. It's always rogue left, but where do we follow up? I still like Proxima Middle, I think. Even though we don't get any Dazzler buffage. No, they're not they're gonna count on Dazzler winning in that lane. So let's just win right, get two extra here. Go to nine, make their Dazzler not do anything. I don't think this is the real Mysterio. I'm fairly certain this isn't the real Mysterio. Behold my mighty hand. All right, we just gotta hope it's not the real Mysterio. I don't think they would have. What? Damn. Everybody's a big fan. I'm shocked that's the real Mysterio, man. Proxima left would have won. I think I had a pretty good read that they wouldn't push the Dazzler lane. Maybe they weren't full enough, so they wanted to push it a little bit more. How, how do they play all these cards? Pixie. Ah, of course it's Pixie. I forgot about it because it's on my side of the board. Mm, I think I had a good read there. Yo, Cigar Butt! Thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate you. So, Second City Wolverine. Binks is your strong guy. Thank you. And Jedi Jesus 95. Thank you so much for the four months. Mmm, Casserole. So good. Jesus Murphy. Thank you so much for the resub with Prime. Hope everyone's well. I am well. I hope you are. Yeah, I you know, I literally just forgot they played Pixie. I'm not gonna lie, chat. They should always play uh, Mobius in a Pixie deck. It was just, it's not fair. They put it on my side. They hit it from, from they hit it from me in plain sight. This is what we sure got. everybody's a Binks fan. Yo, Fishy Monster. Thank you so much for being a Binks fan. Bad wing. First time we've had a pretty bad draw. So this is really the test of most decks. How does your deck perform when your draw sucks? I think we strong here. Bishop armor. Bishop armor is very interesting. Is this a play Proxima out of hand angle? I don't love it. Next turn deck and calling wing makes a lot of sense. I don't think Surfer is going to give us much value. Actually, we want then ah, with strong guy, it doesn't matter that much. Hmm. This is really funky. Take draw. Okay, well, I wanted the draw, so that's good. No! I draw! Let's 
Attack middle, try and win left and middle. It's not gonna be easy. I like a hit monkey deck. Probably just running here. Probably run. Imagine that. Oh, what a disaster. We picked the wrong lanes. <laughs> Do that middle, we actually, like, there's a really good chance we're winning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I wasn't expecting that, but we take those. <laughs> Where are emotes? Where are my emotes? I I could have I could have picked about eleven different things I was expecting. It's probably a pool two warrior. If I had to if I had to make a guess. This is what I'm we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. Miss monkey. I mean, their deck was really weird as for a monkey deck, based on what they played. Um. Dakin kind of can cook them here really bad. Uh, yo, okay, Cabal here. Thank you so much for the six months of Prime. Uh, thanks for the comments on my Samian Rant deck. Looking forward to more Bellatra videos. Pog. And Fishy Monster, thank you so much for the Prime as well. Yo, so many subs today. I appreciate it. Sentinel and Sarah, very, <laughs> Sentinel and Sarah, very nostalgic. Yeah. Ain't that the dang truth. It's beautiful. I think we get this swarm out of hand. We're gonna run into hand space issues if we don't eat the swarm. Tactical swarm deletion. Why don't Corvus? Um, discarding two of your cards in the mid game is like really bad. You won't have any benefits of. Um... Okay, I think we need to fill hyper aggressively. Uh, because this is almost certainly a junk deck. And that is not going to let us fill hyper-aggressively. However, I think we skip. I think we don't skip, maybe. The problem is the Dakins are able to get destroyed by um, several things. Try not skipping. They're also not skipping. They might have Skillmonger. Might have gotten super, super... I think we can skip here into like double wing, double gamut or something. Because now I'm not scared about filling for five. I think now we take a skip. And then we just like double calling wing, I don't know, double rogue, double gambit, something like that. And then try and fight for right as well. Gambit is bad if they don't have an Ilus. It's true. Yo, Sager Master, thanks so much for the six months. Six months pog indeed. Thank you, thank you. How do we not get a hype train going? I think we snap back here. This is what we sure everybody's I, I don't think I think you're right. I think we maybe don't gambit. I think their play is just Annihilus and then hoping to have a play on the right. Oh, snap. I 
But then they can attack our Dakins, which is really nice. Is it Hope Colleen, maybe? We have to do it. Oh, well, I guess they. Wait, their Nihilus doesn't do anything. Maybe we don't have to freak out. Deletes my whole hand. It'll lie at us. Animal. It's gonna push my cards around. Not very nice of you. It's a good start. Some would say it's a great start. Yeah, leaving space to avoid cannonball stuff was good. Victory. That was a that was a chess mass of a game, man. I think Eliath is really rare, man. Like playing a six eight Eliath there is it feels pretty bad. Uh, if you don't know, Eliath got changed uh, yesterday. It might look like, you know, we got really lucky with this cannonball hit. Like, if we hit anything left, it pretty much always works. I think we're winning there pretty often. Yeah, Lyoth would have been really hard to beat if uh, they had it there. It's a bot. I would have stopped Gambit and Blade because I would have replayed. Okay. This is like one of our best hands you can possibly have. Arguably like the best line possible with the deck. Be crazy not to snap. Should have played Negasonic, you would have won. Um, I think I still get... Would you have? Maybe with those exact hits you would have. But I, th I think Cannonball is still probably your best play in case I uh, filled. I don't like Elysium, man. This is why the Rouge is so good. I can just play it on curve. I've already snapped up. Because they could play other ongoings and stuff here, but getting their main one, like they might just be playing Mystique next turn and then this just soul crushes them. Can we get these swarms out of hand. I can wait a turn. Mobius would suck, but. Delightful. Never hit Surfer. Trust. Well, why would we gambit? <laughs> why would we play gambit? 
that's the question. They don't answer the treat because? I don't know, I mean, they're already snapped, right? I can also just play Proxima, right? But it's cooler this way. You consider that? I can actually can't do it on that turn, right? This costs two, this costs three. Psycho deck. I don't think they're gonna have more clogged stuff. Just stop from getting clogged middle if they try. If they have it. for the shard I think that getting the surfer trigger is better than going for the gamut trigger it's either plus four on one card or like 50 50 for plus four on one card or plus two on like four cards <laughs> black guy's honoring his name yeah, they're playing fine. Mindscape. A little annoying, but maybe we can thin our hands. Chance we should have just yeeted the calling wing here. We can like hope into three, maybe we get blade two into double three to finish. This is really annoying for us. We also could magic this. Can't play that. Hmm, this is funky. We need to start playing our discarders, I think. We can take their Ebony Maw? It's pretty pog.
Play Swarms and Chrism, what's their discarded? Like, yeah. That's true. We were playing that, uh, and the idea that, um, that, uh, that card was going to go off. I don't think we ever beat, uh, that card on five anyway. Good snap by them. It's Cam Best doing in my deck. It's just being strong. Just hanging out, being strong. Harry. Blade would be the only thing that kind of messes with us. Everything else feels great. We're just calling wing into three drop double swarm. Feel pretty good. It's not Dakin. It's Swordmaster or Strong Guy. I think like 3 7 is just good, man. And honestly, we can thin our deck with Swordmaster. Put one swarm here, here, here. Like, I'd rather get to like Surfer. I think I'm okay with playing the Strong Guy here and just thinning our deck. It's just puts us in a pretty dominant position. Maybe they're turning off Attila. I don't know. Delightful. We still have Lady Sif and Gambit in the deck, so I think we can take our Gambit Blade line here. Or Dakin Blade. Let's push everything right. I think we can get over top of this. Gambit or Lady Sif goes really hard. Really want priority. It could come longer just like now. It's probably Sarah. Um, I don't think they could beat this man. Yo, guest! Thank you so much for the raid. I super, super appreciate it. If you have a mod in chat, I could shout out guest. Guest does really cool stuff. He's an awesome podcast. Uh, plays really cool, interesting decks and uh, makes a lot of really awesome stuff happen. Skillmonger Surfer. That brings them to 27, right? We beat it easily. I mean, we just never lose here. I, we just never lose. May I mean, maybe they have a way to make us lose. I just I don't see it. I don't think they were planning on the um I don't think they were planning on us having surfer. They do beat us right. Very, very solid game. Victory. This piece has Surfer in his deck? This discard deck has Surfer? Are you kidding me? Uh, but yeah, guest uh, enjoyers who are coming in. Uh, I played this Strong Surf deck 
right after Proxima came out and it felt really good. The biggest problem is that like you very often just not be able to full clear hand. So the change to strong guy, I think really makes this deck uh, actually become viable. Do I think it's like a tier one, tier two deck? Probably not, but it's a really cool way to play Surfer. Catches a lot of people off guard. An off meta deck, how dare you? The, the change to strong guy really, really made this deck better. Do I actively avoid watching other YouTubers before making a deck to not accidentally copy? Um, no, I don't watch much snap content. I'll watch streams. I, I, I watch very little snap on YouTube. It's kind of like the reason I don't watch any snap on YouTube is because making snap on YouTube is my job. Like if you were a dentist, you probably wouldn't watch so, someone doing dentist stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, probably, you probably wouldn't like spend your free time watching someone do dentist stuff. Uh, so I very rarely watch. Um, I very rarely watch YouTube, like specifically YouTube content um, on snap. I watch a lot of streamers though. I certainly get inspired by other streamers sometimes. A lot of swarmers, man. A lot, a lot of swarmers. Snap. Um, that's like saying if you're a rapper, you don't listen to other people's music. Uh, to an extent. I would say. I don't think it's exactly the same. I like my analogy better. But uh, I make all my decks live on stream for the most part. I don't really ever have a problem with like copying other people. I usually do things that are pretty different. And if I ever get inspiration, I just shout them out in the YouTube video. Which kind of ends up being a bit of a win-win most of the time. A lot of extra energy you got there. A lot of extra energy you got there. I'm gonna come and run this. Could just yeet a gambit. Yeah, why not? It's a good hit. Mighty good hit. I have too many cards in my hand. You snake. All systems go. Uh, no, Morbius would not be good in the deck. I don't think. Morbius, you can get up to like two six, but it's pretty rare to get him higher than that. I just, I don't, I don't see that being super viable. Double Quinjet. They have two one cost snow guards. I think it's the only thing they've added to their deck. So you can play Kitty, Double Snow Guard. I don't think I can commit more than this. We're going plus seven. Oh, they only have one, so I already used this. I don't have any hope triggers. Seems good. Probably find a way to beat us, but it's not easy. Shang right for Angela, the card I don't have in my deck. I don't think I got there. Maybe I got there left. I don't, I don't think I got there though. Oh, I missed by one middle. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, played. Smarter than the throw right. All he was that swarm of left. 
Man, that's tough. I think we win that game most of the time. Any kind of adjustment to how they play, we win. Even if they just went like snow guard left and rogue middle or something, I guess they were probably trying to snipe our onslaught citadel. Ah, they had cable too. Yeah, that's how they got this. Tough game. Well played, uh, Mithra Naruto. Um, very tight. I, th I think I definitely had the win, uh, but you stole it from me with a really nice play. Congrats. Uh, I'm going to run through units ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5. Uh, you can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available by clicking the subscribe button and using a little Prime toggle. You might have a Twitch Prime sub subscription available and not even know it. It's just sitting there rotting in your pocket. Uh, you can use it on me or any other streamer if you like that, but make sure you use it. Get those Jeff Bezos bucks going. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. Space Child, this thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate spin. you. See you all in three minutes. Bandol, Bandol, Bandol. Bandol's my favorite. I gotta stop singing along to songs because it doesn't go in the right time. Released in 2000, 432 million YouTube views. Difficulty easy. Bet your pieces wisely. See you in a minute. And it was easy today, no spoilers. Yeah, let's play Bando. to get it from that but let's go strings organ why why can't why is nothing ringing a bell Britney Spears? Baby, baby, oops, I did it again. I played with, okay, okay, okay. That'll definitely get me DMCA'd. Yeah, okay. I, it just felt Britney, man. It just felt a little Britney. This felt a little Britney to me, okay? And two, pay out the believers. Sorry, right, I, I will get the music going so we can get it out of our intrusive headspace. It's Britney, bitch. Oops, I bandled again. <laughs> After this one, I will say all artist songs sound the same. Like, all Britney songs sound the same? No, they don't. Brittany has a wide range. What's up, Sino? Brittany's got some range. 
you know that you're toxic. She's got, she's got some range. Welcome back, uh, Adam George. Thank you for enjoying the ads. You missed uh, Britney Spears' time. It all it is all well, man. I hope you're doing well. Oh wait, dude, shit. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to do a match. I have to do my Snap Team League match. Um. I'll have them ping me in chat once they're ready. Uh, do I have some gameplay? Cannonball Ghost Spider? Yeah, go check out the YouTube videos. Um, the most recent one where I played Ghost Spider. You like Junkin' Ball Hog C? Somewhat recent. That's Heimdall on the uh, thumbnail. Okay. A little awkward. Little bit awkward here. It's a big card. You can gambit it though, you know? Ooh, it's gonna be my big card, maybe. Maybe it'll be my big card. They're snapping. Do you like that your opponent can see if you have Red Hulk? Yeah, I think it. Um, I think it makes the game uh, makes the card a lot fairer. Try this into like double gambit to try and merc the red hulk. Maybe we want to not be ahead. Let's do this in a double gambit and try and kill the red hulk. And clear my whole hand. So for Proxima, I don't think you should run the deck without Proxima. It's really good. Gambit Assault activated. They play Hollow, we're probably cooked. <laughs> if it's Red Skull, Red Hulk? Alright, kill him! Kill the Red Hulk! Murder him! That's a good one. Kill the Red Hulk! Murder the Red Hulk! Destroy him! Your peace. Uh, we get smashed by Top Deck Hella. We get Molly Wap by Top Deck Hella. Problem is Top Deck like anything probably beats us. All we can do is Proxima. Really needed to hit this. It's alright. Escaped. As long as they play left, we gave him what a, a sword master, I think. We can give him a Swordmaster. Yeah, if they just play Swordmaster left, we just lose. Kill him! <laughs> yeah, Lady Deathstrike Electro is actually kind of interesting. I, I saw a couple of people play that. No blade top deck, we're cooking. Actually, even blade top deck is fine. Hmm. Our sinister. Let's think about this.
We only get three, but that's fine. magic right we're in some trouble because you want to move all the deck and then gambit middle to finish no 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 <laughs> no 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 you do not get too high no 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 We hold the wing. I don't think we need the wing. No, 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 no. You do not get to do this. Oh, your hands. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh no, oh god, oh no! Victory! Dude, I think Rogue is really good right now. I've been playing Rogue a lot off stream. I think Rogue just does so much against so many decks. I think it's really, really good right now. Like, people are playing this Hella deck now with Invisible Woman because they're no longer scared of Elioth. And, I, and then you just take it. Rogue just does, like, something against almost every deck I face, which is really important. When you do that, they always don't have Hella. Yeah, it hurts. It sincerely hurts. Okay. <gasps> Red Hulk's so scary, man. Yep. This is funky. Yo, what's up, Rita Bill? Uh, after this game, we'll play. We fix the custom cards, we can go fix. I want to spend all my energy. Next turn I'll have seven. Mobius player. You get a Pax because you're running Pixie. Can't even rogue it. <laughs> you're you're a real piece for not even letting me rogue it. Tell you what.
Next turn, we can top deck Strunk Guy. Swarm would be pretty bad. As long as we play a card right next turn, we'll have enough for all our Gambit stuff. I really don't want the Red Hulk to get any bigger. I mean, there's a chance we just we just get cooked here, right? Very decent chance we just get cooked. So Dak will add a card, Blade will discard it, and then Gambit will hit, and then Surfer comes down after. I will we'll send it. We we'll probably lose here, but it seems like a fun game. Hit it Proxima, 50-50. We probably get cooked here by this Pixie deck, but let's have some fun, man. Imagine if we don't. Can use the effects of any card in any variant. Um, I I don't know. Ooh, Mega Man. This would need to say approximately midnight overcooked. Oh no. We're so cooked, dude. Uh we can still potentially win with Gambit. Wait, are we just winning? Gambit hits middle? Wait, we're just winning! What the hell? We're just winning! What the heck, man? Okay. <laughs> Victory. I thought we were insanely cooked there. We take those, man. We take those. They're probably mad. <laughs> that seemed unlosable. I think we won no matter what Gambit hit, right? We just had enough power. the tempo that we wanted. I guess we can just Lady Sif away this Knoll. Maybe it's a destroy deck, I don't know. I guess we can hold off on the Lady Sif if they don't show whether or not they're destroy. I guess if they're destroy, they've passed the first two turns. Oh, baby. No, we need clear hand space first. Snap. Need to clear hand space first. Okay. Victory. I put that power and hand thing on Ronin. Yeah, it's on Darkhawk, Ronin, and Noel, I think. Proxima or Cannonball with tokens? Just depends if you like discard. If you like discard, Proxima is like a necessity. So if you if you're a discard enjoyer, then you just always go Proxima. Uh, if you just don't really care what to play and you kind of play everything, I personally like Cannonball more. I think it's a more fun card. But Proxima is really, really strong. This deck is the concept to abandon right if you can't clog that lane. I don't understand what that question is. 
Why would you need to abandon right if you can't clog it? Are you talking about for specifically junk matchups? She's better Wolverine for discard? I would say she's much better Wolverine for discard. Oh, hello. Howard Mysterio. My guy be strong, yes he do. My guy be strong, how about you? We can set Dakin on Stark, we can get an extra boost out of him. Dude, why? Why is everyone playing Mobius, man? <laughs> I was so excited for the chance to Mobius be like pulled back a little bit. Everyone's playing Mobius, man. You want to play Mobius, huh? You're really sure you want to play Mobius, are ya? Really sure you want to play Mobius. Come on, play Sarah. I dare you. Why do they have Mysterio on their deck? Play Sarah, I dare you. I did forget about the league match already. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm sorry. All systems go. <laughs> Burrito Bill, if you're still here after this game. I'm sorry, I got cooked, man. That's it, that's exactly what just happened. Ooh, very awkward. We just cut Swordmaster or Sif. We're kind of fine fine with it. We have to know what other Spectrum's coming. Just kind of have to be okay with it. Get a strong guy trigger. Gambit could do something. Dude, I'm so I'm so bad at just getting locked in, man. Man, never winning here sucks. Being unable to win here really hurts. Play it up. They might not have the juice to win. This is 10. Alright, we're gonna play a Snap League match. Uh, so Snap League is something that's put on by Felicity. Uh, which is a really, really cool event. And we are gonna see. I think Burrito Bill is ready. Uh, for the game. Just give a second to go through here. Your top 1k in the game about a year ago? There wasn't leaderboards a year ago, no? Am I crazy? Alright, um...
Okay, is that pinned? Is everyone seeing the pinned message? Can you tell me if you're seeing the pinned message? Yerp? Okay, sweet. Um, cool, I got the code here. But what do I play? Let's play that Corvus Ramp deck from yesterday. All right, goodbye, chat. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to me, more like. I might hold the Jeff into Corvus. Okay, we're not going to hold the Jeff into Corvus any longer. We are no longer holding the Jeff into Corvus. I repeat, we are no longer holding the Jeff into Corvus. We are praying that we get our Electro. Spider Ham, write that down. Spider Ham, Spider Ham. Okay, they're gonna beast all that up, I'm sure. We have the panic button. Honestly, panic button into Doom goes kind of hard. You know, Doom, we might be in some trouble. Opponent snapped. Uh, we're not gonna leave. I mean, Legion kind of like makes it so that neither of us can win. Legion on six, it is. Power to this, but it's praise they don't. I don't think it's worth I think it's worth the risk. Big red hulk, man. Do be a big red hulk. Being able to put one card in every lane is really nice. And if for whatever reason they throw middle, we actually just win, which is insane. We have Pryo? How do we have Pryo? That's crazy that we have Pryo. This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a Binks fan. Maybe we lost to Kyara there, so it's not risky. Or so it's a little more risky than I gave it credit for. Maybe it's Mbaku in the deck. But I think it was I think it was smart to just do that. Know that we have that panic button in hand. Plus we get a huge look at their deck, right? Like we just got a, a bunch of info on their deck for free. Time. But they do know we have Legion, which is kind of a surprise card for us. Why lose one cube when you can lose none? Rux. 
We can make their life rocks with Corvus. I don't know how strong that is. Or with uh, Legion. Maybe it's good into Sandman. Sandman's pretty good against their deck. They do have the Red Hulk option, but we'll know if they have it or not. Sucks. We are banking on both Legion and Sandman staying around. Sandman is the most important one to keep. But if we hit Sandman, maybe we just Legion right to try and get to Hella. Sucks. Really want a 5 drop here, but it's only Vision. Damn. I think we have to Sandman. I don't think we can just pass. I don't think pass leader wins. I think we just have to take our Sandman now. At least we kept the Sandman. Sandman Magento leader can be quite strong. We can even play the rock with it so that the Red Hulk doesn't get an extra trigger, which is very important. Snap. Snap. Their life is rocks. I, that's actually just a snap because I'm tired of waiting, which is unfair to me and the opponent. It's not like they're roping. I just, uh, I'm sensing they might be panicking. So maybe the snap Make some panic more, you know? Mental... Take a little jab at their mental. At the very least, it's kind of annoying for their setup potential. I think Magento to pull this coal is the play. And then hopefully we can set up a leader right or left and win. Um, Black Swan's a bit of an issue. Uh, no Red Hulk as far as we know, but we'll still play the Rock to play um, around Leader. I'm not sure if there's any card that we play over Leader that we could draw. I guess maybe Hella. Maybe Doom. Well, Black Swan's a bit of an issue here, right? Because they can... Red Hulk and do a bunch of stuff. We don't play the Rock Middle. They have to play more than six to beat this. It's really, really important. Just depends on how many one drops they can they can shoot out. They might not even have Red Hulk in hand, right? Like, we, we've been playing on curves since Corvus, so we wouldn't know. But not having any extra energy left over uh, to force the tie is really nice. Uh, I'm confident. I'm confident in going for this. Could be close. Uh, they could just uh, beat us here. They could play really well around leader, maybe. Put us into some issues. We'll have to see. The onus is on them to do this. Sandman was actually a really nice uh, disruption that game. And they could have snuck in a two drop along with that Black Swan. Like they probably wanted to play like Black Swan Falcon if they have it available to them. Demon, huh? Wow. Tough. Yeah, I think they were playing around leader there. Very, very well played. Tough, tough, tough. Leader right just made way too much sense, I, I would imagine. I think I'm okay with losing four there, though. I, I think that my, my line was good. I think that I had more than 25% chance of winning. Bill had to play really, really well there to get us. I'm going to take a quick peek at chat just to make sure that uh, everything's okay. Everything okay? Everything okay? Looks like it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Quantum. This could be an Electro game. I'll have to decide next turn. I got time. I want to have access to all my options. Get a peek if they have Red, Red Hulk in hand. Priority would be really nice for Quantum. Like Electro Vision and a Legion could be pretty nasty. We'll pass. It's really bad. Might have She Hulk in the deck? That feels really bad if I'm them. Hopefully we get Pryo here. Passing on three with their deck feels like a bit of a death sentence sometimes. Could be could be She-Hulk line, maybe. We would love priority for this Legion too. If we don't get Pryo, maybe we have to jump away from the Legion line. Just have to see how the cards are played. They're probably really thinking if they want to leave. Okay, we got Pryo. That's huge. Now the problem with Werewolf is that it makes my Legion feel a lot worse. world I just Corvus here I get Corvus and Jeff for like a wombo hey keep Jeff to keep a 50 50 alive yeah I don't like the Legion line anymore with the werewolf the werewolf just wins the lane by itself it's very hard to deal with go Corvus and try and 50-50 a good Hella. Worst two. Let's think about this. They're going to burst out a bunch of cards. Wherever the wolf lands, we lose. I don't think they'll have four cards to play right. So that means that the nebula will always win right. The vision should always win left. No, the vision goes middle. And then we hope that the werewolf lands left. Otherwise, we're cooked. Hmm. I think we always do this. I think it's it's too juicy. Ah, Lake Hellas. Nah, Lake Hellas ruins this line, huh? Lake Hellas just makes this line suck ass. No, it's not gonna be there. Wait, this is only five then, though, right? YOLO! Ah, uh, we always lose. Unfortunate.
No Shadow King and we win. We had no no idea that that card existed. No Shadow King, we we take that that W. They should have played the Shadow King after the Demon, right? Well, I guess they didn't know that was going to be Quantum Realm. It's crazy that if they didn't have Shadow King, we win right there. Pretty nuts. I think it was a cool idea. It obviously sucks being down two to two to ten, but this is what we sure got. Everybody's a big I still think I'm playing well. It does not feel good though, I tell you what. Dream Dimension's really bad for me too. Okay, we have full deck now. Alright, come on, give us some luck here. Give us some luck here. Why not give us a little luck? Why not a little bit of luck? I'm really surprised it didn't go right. Now the problem is we can't play anything. Oh, we got Sandman. That's quite nice. Here, we need to also top deck Vision next turn, unfortunately. Uh, we should just take... This gives us better chances to take the Abbey. We really need Vision. Two, two draws for it can go a long way. Okay, Sandman, super effective here. Again, just kind of like slowing slowing their possibilities for what they're going to do. Please, Vision. Son of a bitch, dude. A dream dimension is so hard to deal with, man. Probably just cooked here. They have Black Swan. I mean, I'm not going to retreat, though. I think we just have to push through. Like, what's the point of retreating right now? They always have it, man. I really, I'm not gonna go down to one. I don't really see much point in that. Um, how do we win? They're gonna play Red Hulk. They have Hood. You know, they have Hood, Nico, Spider Ham. Uh, I don't think they have access to a second demon. They could just do a crazy werewolf play. I think our best play is Hella. Just try and win the other lanes that Red Hulk doesn't hit. Let's hope that Red Hulk lands left and go Hella. Or let's uh, hold. Hmm. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense left. Red Hulk makes more sense left. Oh, we have Pryo, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's hella left. Snap. Snap is a joke. We're probably cooked here, though. I just, I don't, I'm not going down 1 to 10. Minions to me. Mm, it's almost never enough. Oh, unless, unless, let's go. <laughs> oh, we're still in this, boys. Victory. Jesus. Yeah, I think there's a good, um, there's a good, good, like, question to be said about whether, um, them just playing Rock Right Queen Right was correct. It's a bit of a miss.
Rocket by Raccoon. Grant me, please. I would have preferred Corvus. We'll take the option no matter what. I think you still take the Raft card. It'd be good for if we get Corvus for Hello later. Tribunal might be like a psycho play that they have trouble dealing with. Okay, they missed draw here. Not sure how much they care about that. Finally get a good Sandman line in. But that Red Hulk to, to stop uh, Sandman is really good for them. Uh, they should play their zero cost like this turn or next turn to play around Sandman. We could get really lucky if they don't, but knowing that I have Sandman, I think it's pretty pretty hard to not make that call. Probably just coming down this turn. Brother, how are we winning, man? I think it has to be Sandman left. Wow. That's huge. Yeah, they can only play one card. It's almost always Red Hulk, right? And if they're going to Red Hulk, they're going to do it right. Is that 15? I don't think we can beat it. We only get to 16 here. This gets us close, but it's just not enough. Dude, this is so close to working. This is so close to working, man. Uh, I guess it wouldn't work middle, because it doesn't go middle. Chat, what do you think? You think I played okay? I feel like I played pretty well. Uh, we got a really rough uh, hit with draws. I think, like, the, the draws were really hard to deal with. Locations were a bit iffy. I Bill played really well. I think the only mistake Bill made that whole game is the Rocket Raccoon right. But they would, I mean, that would have been to sweep me. I think I played pretty well. I mean, Bill, Bill's really good. They, they played very, very well. Played as well as you could. I, I think that I could have, I could have figured some better lines. But um, I, I just like, I, you know, what, what gets me upset is when I feel like I played bad. And I don't think I played bad. 
Didn't leader left work because of Nebula? You'd have to move Jeff. Right? I had to move Jeff, correct? That's only minus, that's minus one. Bad matchup with their deck. I feel like Sandman's pretty good, but they did have like the Sandman counter in the Red Hulk. Like if they didn't have Red Hulk in that deck, I think Sandman kind of kind of like rushes them. And then every time I hit the early Sandman, they played Black Swan afterwards. That that hurt, man. That that hurt pretty bad. But Bill played great, man. I think I needed to let myself not lose so many cubes so early. Um, can you explain that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like I should have retreated certain games? I'm not saying you're incorrect. I think that that's a, a, a good... I think we just eat the Swordmaster here. Like just saying, just don't lose... <laughs> don't lose cubes early forehead is kind of hard to... You can't, you can't really do that. I can't just choose whether or not I lose cubes or not. Just win more forehead. I mean, we didn't get like a single hella line, like a good one at least. That's tough to swallow, man. Not getting a single good hella line is really tough to swallow. We have Pryo. We can mark this Gladiator Moeus. Oh, nice. Victory. And chat, this, this is why I think the deck is pretty good. We discarded Surfer. We discarded Surfer and we got our opponent's retreat. That's damn hard to do, man. Why don't you just win? That would have made it easy. <laughs> I, I think that I maybe could have retreated one of some of those early games. People do forget the sick tie that I got when we didn't play a card until turn five and then we played uh, Legion right. Same Raven needs a lot to go right. That might be true. I mean, yesterday when we played on stream, we did have the buff of um, we did have the buff of having our um, electro line, which you know you don't get access to all the time. Okay, so they're like a full-on hella deck. It's gonna be tough for us to beat. Maybe like stealing their Mobius could be pretty good. Do I just want to get the Swarmas out of hand? Or this uh, Death out of hand? I think we just get the Death out of hand. It might run Mobius. Play one just in case. I mean, we can obviously rogue it, but might not have time. Sift death. Give me father for I've sinned. I want to try and win middle because they they can't get as much value off of here as we can usually. Get Hella. Why the hell do they have Surfer in their deck? And okay, now they can play a six drop middle and put us into a bit of a rough spot. I don't want to gambit just yet. Opponent 
I'm on a gambit next turn. We're probably cooked, right? Like, I'm guessing that means they have Hella. Should probably leave. Nice to win there. Looking for a minus climb to infinite? Is Hella the best deck to do it? Why would you want to mindlessly climb to infinite? Why wouldn't you want to be present and enjoy your experience playing a game? That's my question. I, I for one, usually think if you're playing a game and it feels like a chore, Probably shouldn't play the game. But if you're just saying, like, I want to play it in the background while I watch other stuff. Hellas is probably, probably a good deck to do it with. You can run Invisible Woman now, too. It's not the case for a long time. Let's hide a Swordmaster. You just don't want to miss the infinite card back? Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I personally just really think that if the only reason that you're playing a game is to get an infinite card back and you don't want to play the other game any other way, uh, you should probably just, like, not play. Probably the best thing that you can do for your own mental health. We're going to need to play this swarm out of hand. We're strong guy, I just realized. Not necessarily. Hit the swarm. Next time we could play swarm, swarm. Back in surfer or something like that. You never move on cloak. They're, they're probably going to play Craven next turn. It's probably like a tribunal version. Is this in their deck? It's a hub card. It replaces your proximate deck and not. I, don't, I wouldn't run the deck if I didn't have those cards. Some of the patches are a chore, especially when cards get needed. How to re rebuild decks can be. Well, that's fair. I would never look at them trying to update and improve a game as a negative, though, personally. But like cooking, man. Okay, we have one discard coming. So if we go like here, here. We play Dakin. Surfer. We won't clear enough for Strong Guy. So it has to be Gambit Surfer. And we probably, we, there's a very good chance we just lose here. Uh, especially if they have like Tribunal. But uh, I think this is our best chance of winning. The fact that almost half of my decks need a specific card to work is also an issue. How is that an issue? I don't understand what that means. 
You think in a card game, decks should be able to work without like their key card? I just don't see how that would like work. I think Tribunal cooks us. <laughs> that one key card is key for too many decks. I agree. How? Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, Gambit Right was probably better, but I wanted more power middle in case this Human Torch didn't come down middle. Because we would have we kind of been stuck with, like, they move their Human Torch, then, then we kind of get in some trouble. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what you're talking about. Why are they not Ghost Spider? Um, they could have done Ghost Spider, Torch, something else probably. Maybe they were scared about, um, maybe they were scared about playing it out of order. You don't think it's healthy for one card to be key for 90% of top decks? I, I mean, it's not though. <laughs> that's not something that's happening, so I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, it's your Woody. Actually, of ever changing characteristics in this game are the appeal to me. I also agree. I mean, I, I really like the fast and loose changes. I'm guessing they're talking about hope, but like that doesn't make any sense. There's, like hope is not most decks like can work without hope, or you can retool without hope. Hope, but I'm guessing they're talking about hope. Talk about Zabu? They just they just nerfed it. Shouldn't you be uh, shouldn't you be happy? I don't... Zabu also wasn't necessary for ninety percent of top decks. You're talking about the nerf. Oh, you're saying that it's unhealthy for Z well. I mean, that's a hyperbole. No matter what, I don't think Zabu was ever more than fifty percent play rate. There's plenty of decks that can work without Zabu. I, I think that the Zabu change was awesome. I mean, it could go back, right? I think the Zabu change was really, really uh, good. I think that they uh, need to have like more stuff like that, where they trim off a bunch of fat and give other things like room to grow in the game. I think it's really important. So maybe I was just uh, reading the wrong context of a conversation. Is what it seems like just happened. I think we go Blade Sif. Clear our hand a bit. We want to get the widow bite down because like this this turns off our strong guy, right? They got a random Colson too. Copycat. Ooh, this sucks, man. What an awful position to be in. It, ha it has to be done. We hope that they play dark. Is this random too? It is also random. Uh, they haven't played a single card. Play your cards, yo, Woody. Oh, let's snap them out of the game, actually. To work. He only needs one damn card, man. He's just gonna Black Panther Zabu his way to victory, huh? Or Azola? Oof. That hurts. Is this random? Okay. Uh, 
Your Panther variant is tough. Yeah, it hurts. All right, we're going to run through minutes. If you don't want to see ads, you can pay $5. You can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. I'll see you in three minutes. I'm going to take a real break. I need to pee. Uh, I will see y'all in a second. Turn for Wong, turn five mystique. I saw that on Reddit. I don't think it's a good deck, but it's it seems pretty fun. I like that idea, Alloy. Alloy said Zabu, imagine being an on reveal that applied one cost discount to four cost cards in your hand. I think that's actually really smart. I think that's a really, really ideal fix. Maybe it fix these dang keys? I don't know, man. It's a small indie company. Frothin' frothin' for some US agent action. Gang gang, gang gang. Boom, 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 boom. Uh I should buy the Miss Minutes emote, huh? I should buy the Miss Minutes emote. Simply too good. I threw it on my phone though, give me a second. You think about same man change? I think it's interesting. Um, the card might have been like I'm limiting for design space. Uh, I think it works as like a wave right now, which is pretty cool. Calicram, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. The nullified thing is so scary. I kind of want this one too, but I want the domino one more, and I don't want to go too crazy. So I think I'll probably skip on this one. And then wait for the domino. I, I think the domino is so good, dude. The domino one has so many use cases. Uh, is there a good gold bundle I could buy? Star Lord Gamora, a thousand credits and twenty five hundred gold. Pretty good variance. The Dazzler one's pretty nice too, right? Two thousand credits. Probably just snag this Dazzler one. It's a really great variant too. Love both these emotes. I've got them both. Yeah, I mean, I really, I like the Ultron one, but I don't like. I want to. I, I try and be pretty. Um, I've been trying to be pretty good with my spending in the game, uh, the the last like year, I think. Okay, we got the Electra, and let's 
let's let's go and buy the um for a gold value i mean i, th I think that the um the gamora star lord one is really good too i might use that star lord variant too i've been using the cozy one but this one's also kind of the cozy one when you think about it Okay. Might have to exit the game and restart. Oh, he's on the phone. $22 for an emote? What the hell? Just don't buy it, forehead. This game's too pay to win. Why are they monetizing the cosmetics? I want the game that I play to be more free. Can I save all your gold for the upcoming hip album? Does that have good rewards? Do they, do they show the rewards? Yeah, Miss Minutes is good. Yeah, you know, do you want to spend 14,000 14, gold for an emote? Or 2,200? The real question. Ah, destroy deck. Live from the Daily Bugle. That could be useful. If I play the Swarm... No calling wing. It's stuck in the left side of my hand. I think we just get it out of hand. Doesn't feel great. We're going to look like a bot a little bit, but. I think 2200 on nothing feels bad. What, is that? what does that mean? We definitely want to hope. I almost didn't play it. Is that my hope, you piece? Freaking hope stealer. The goddamn hope stealer. This is this is hard. If we play the deck and we have to hope that we can get a top deck. What cards do we play, man? A like gambit kind of sucks. Rogue is really good if they play Noel next turn, which they might. I think it's Dak and Surfer, as dumb as it looks. I know this looks stupid. I think it's actually correct. And they might leave here. Because they have done next to nothing. Dak and right feels like overcommitting. So I should maybe switch Dakin and Surfer makes some sense. I definitely need to change my underwear. Enough said, Bob.
stuff. Enough said, Bob. Let's hope it for Noel. Still a one and four winning there. It's really hoping they they play Noel out as opposed to the death. They must not have drawn it. At the very worst, that was a one and four, so we always take it anyway. Can I ask why no Modok? Um, why would Modok be in the deck? Can I ask you why yes, Modok? Discard the hand? When would we be doing that? Like, what turn would we do that? We just have to give up left. Never, we're never catching him. Turn six instead of surfering. Seems pretty bad. Yeah, that's why no U.S. Agent. Uh, U.S. Agent would be okay, it's just the deck list is really tight. Oh wow, they're not winning White Hot Room, unless they have Jeff. It's actually huge for us. Gambit Surfer. Oh, snap. Yeah, like I, I've like tested ideas with Modok. Uh, for decks like this, you can retool it, but I don't think the Surfer and Modok um, meshes. Victory. Like, you can play like a tempo Modok on six type strong guy deck. Um, especially now, you can even like try and do like uh, Dracula type stuff. Just saying, you think Modok would be useful, not that you always play it. I think you very rarely want to play it, and it would just be a five cost card. The other big problem with Modok is that we have Lady Sif Proxima Midnight, which is one of our strongest plays in the deck, and Modok has tension with it. It's the same reason why we cut Sarah. Cur curious if any of the streamers are having the end turn glitch. Um, I, what is the end turn glitch? Really hurts strong guy. This makes strong guy almost unplayable. So we just don't go on the strong guy line. Go hope and then we go deck and blade. It's probably some version of Loki.
Maybe we can sneak an ongoing with Rogue here. I uh, guess a rope out every game and hope you don't float two turns in a row. No, I've, 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 I never got that one. We just have to accept we're never getting strong guy off and just be okay with that. We don't have any ongoings in our deck, so rogue is pretty bad except for strong guy, which won't activate. Middle is gonna be so hard to win. This always hits at three costs, so we play it first. I don't think they'll be able to get ahead of us here. We're plus 11. And the battle becomes her right. Clear in their hand for that strong guy. Gambit helps. And we can't play everything. We could play everything like Rogue into Colleen Wing Gambit Middle. Activates our strong guy, which is kind of crazy. They have our surfer, we probably lose. We need a hit right. If we get a hit right, we usually win. We have Pryo. Two. So it's three out of eight, 37% chance to get a hit right. always lose. Yeah. They have the Surfer too. Yeah, not, nothing we hit would have won. Even Hope here doesn't win. GG's. Yeah, we had the chance to hit Angela too. Angela could have gotten us a win potentially. I think it's worth staying in there. Loki hearts up. Yeah, I think Loki's great right now. Uh, Loki just uh, thrashes most mid range decks. I put out a Loki deck uh, last week that I think is really good. Uh, you probably have to retool it though, because that one that was a Zabu version. But yeah, I think Loki's going to be a, a, in a great spot currently. Very hard deck to beat. Yo, the crochet pop tarts were insanely cool. Don't be a good on. Don't be a good ongoing. Stop adding stuff to our hand, man. Opponent snapped. No surfer, bad start. Let's get out of here. Oh, Marcus is doing it. Cable and Raj are too damn fun. Yeah, Cable and Raj slap, dude. Uh, I think Raj is still way better than Cable, personally. But um, sometimes you want to run them both. 
I think Cable's not as good in Loki. I think people see Mill doing well and they think that it's like Cable's a good card, but I don't think that's true. Barrage is not only gives you like more net power because she gives you plus two on the card, uh, but also she's much more likely to give you a card that you want to play. Which is like hit or miss in Loki, but uh, I'm okay. I'm okay here. I could stick this out. I have Rogue for their stuff if we can get to it. Next turn we have Lady Sif on Proxima. Actually, next turn we probably hope. Mm, we're gonna need a 50-50, which is a little hard. But this also gives us a place to play the Dakin trigger without needing to discard it, which is quite nice. We'll just hope for a 50-50 on this Proxima. Three six potential? Seems a bit iffy. Alright, let's 50-50 this Proxima. No need to blade. It's tough. We can still win left, though. We have no other way of winning right, which is a bit unfortunate. You have to deck in this turn. Uh, shouldn't do in that order, right? We don't have to blade this turn. We get to seven. Hmm. This is a little tricky. Swarm kind of like just annoys us. I think it's still this. Next turn could be like Swarm Gambit Blade or something. Just have to 50 50. I think we have to 50 50 this. I don't love it. I need blade middle. I think I want Gambit left. This goes to 12. It's gonna hurt if you miss the 50-50 left. Then it just matters where the Gambit hits. Better to Blade right or min? I mean this, no. It's actually worse because we want the Gambit to discard the Blade. If, this, if it hits the swarm, then we don't get the strong guy trigger. Fifty loss. It's tough.
Maybe we could have retooled how we played on like turns four and five. I think that we didn't need to get ourselves stuck with a 50-50. The only way to not do that is to not play Dak and Strong Guy, which I think we needed that much power. It was more than a 50-50 win, right? Because Gambit could have hit a bunch of other things. Like Gambit could have hit anything left. I guess it could have hit Dazzler or Mockingbird left. Or the Blue Marvel. And we still win. I think we had like 60% win chance there. Nah, could have hit, hit Blue Marvel too. Blue Marvel wins. There's a lot of things it could have hit. Maybe closer to 70. If Sith left on four. Uh, if I Sith left on four, then I don't get to play two six drops on five because I have to play it on top of Hope. Uh, Proxima is where you have the least power. So not where your lowest um, net. So both both locations were zero, so it was a 50-50. I'm on three, Dakon on four. The Sif and other three felt better, to be honest. So Dakon instead of Sif, so that I could have fooled my Decker on it. Did I have Dakon on four? The problem with that is that um, it could get lost in my hand, but because we can play it right, maybe you're just correct. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good uh, assessment. Raj isn't great against Hella either, to be fair. Uh, what do you mean? Sick. They probably have Proxima too. Probably also a Proxima Gamer. How rare is it getting an Ego game? It's about one in a thousand. No Rogue really hurts. I think we take our Gambit this turn. If it hits Proxima, we're sad. We get a 1 in 4. I think we take a 1 in 4, right? I mean, they, they almost certainly have Proxima on their deck as well, so they're, they're dealing with the same shit we are. They're, they're in the same exact boat that we are. Hurts. I mean, how are they winning? They have seven cards in hand. They have to Modok to get Dracula to do anything. Dracula's 2x. They have seven cards in hand. The only way that they can clear that is if they Modok. If they Modok, then they almost certainly get Proxima and lose right. He's really had Proxima bottom two. Gee. 
Beat me middle anyway. Zola discard doesn't run Proxima. Um, yeah, I guess if that was the super giant combo, that makes sense. It could have also Zola it away. They had it had it and played it early, which is kind of crazy. You do run procs, you didn't trot, you lucker. You were able to beat me either way, which is pretty impressive. I did not think you were going to be able to get uh, enough power middle. You cheetah. Random calling wing. One cast. Hood! What the heck, man? Yeah, strong guy's kind of like Dakin level now. With, uh, this card. Kind of got some Dakin vibes. Bro, what do I do? <laughs> I'm in such a dumb, I'm in such a weird spot, man. I give him a blade? I guess I have to give him a blade. See Ravona? Why? Is that even that good on curve? I don't even think that's that good. I think it's just this. Wing first. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do against Prof. They Prof or Snap, we just have to take the L. play prep I mean like why would if if, if they would just prof right <laughs> if they saw us play left they would just prof right it doesn't it doesn't matter either way we're in the same situation I'd rather than prof left than right honestly because right I can come back and win <laughs> miss minutes okay Just cooked a cannonball. Pretty much cooked to anything. Escaped. That's the main games are, are really tough. Oh, they're sweating. Maybe Profex right is better because of the cannonball line, but I mean it does the same thing, right? And hip cerebro pog. All I always stream for. I don't know as long as I want. Uh, at least seven thirty. I can give you a at least. That helps.
Maybe longer though. Depends on, on how frisky we're feeling. Nemo reminds you of the what button are choosing? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's intentional. Most of the emotes that they chose are very intentional. Being able to shard left is really nice. It must be going brood left, right? Forge on three feels really bad for them. Like if I'm the opponent, I'm feeling like I'm I'm in a trash situation. important part about um, playing snap that I think not, a, not enough people going about or do is snapping when your opponents like even if I have a like I don't know I'm doing okay I have surfer I, I can make something work but when your opponent does nothing and then plays forge off curve like <laughs> man, they don't want to be there man <laughs> they, they straight up aren't having a good time let them let them leave free them of their their misery I'm glad, I'm glad that it's helping you, uh, plus one, plus one lift. It's surprisingly effective. You, you have to have a good understanding of... You have to have a really good understanding of, like, what your opponent, like, what your opponent wants to do most of the time. Which can make it a little tricky. A great spot here. You can just rip the Swordmaster on curve. Uh, Mobius is a problem, but we have Rogue if we need. That's a fair response to that. <laughs> Have I played any Darkhawk lately? Um, no. I, I played on our uh, T3 hang. So for all my T3 subs, uh, once a month I do like a hangout where we play... Uh, we played Bellatra once and then we this time we played um, another thing. So it's kind of like an exclusive little hangout. I played some uh, Darkhawk Surfer that went okay. Uh, but Darkhawk's in a tough spot, man. With nothing that can discard the Swarm, I think we just get it out of hand. I think we're learning that. Like, the Swarm can be really dangerous if you just let, let it sit around. They're keeping you from getting the best card this month. So true. <laughs> so, so insanely true. Here's the problem, it's like Dakin. Oh, that's still fine, because I can just play the I can just play the Jin. Zabu nerf, you think Darkhawk can go to 4-2? 4-2? No, not 4-2. 4-1 maybe. Uh, back to like his original stat line of 4-1, I could see. 4-2 is... 4-2 is dangerous, man. 4-2 is dangerous. Uh, this got really icky really fast. Wait, this doesn't work.
do this. Talion discards this. They discards this. This might be that same deck we were playing before. Zero for Mr. Negative and Troyers. Four zero was pretty good, man. Can you play a strong ongoing card that I can steal, please? I think Rip Tribunal on six. Maybe, maybe they Rip Tribunal on six, chat. So awkward. Maybe I had to hold the gambit. I'm just kind of playing it for stats. Probably should have held the gambit there. I don't know what else I play though. Was really funky. I mean, I think we're cooked, right? Probably cooked. You don't think they'll give everyone U.S. agent? I could, I could see them giving everyone U.S. agent. I mean, there's no precedent for spotlight keys not working like this. The only other time that it kind of happened was, um... Uh, I should run here, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I think they're in task Yeah, probably. Like I said, I, I should definitely ta run here. see them giving us agent for free i don't think they've ever had a situation where people spent spotlight keys and didn't get what they wanted right is that has that happened before why did they give kitty to everyone for free because they sold kitty and then kitty broke the game and then they took kitty away for a month and a half it was way different than this but i could see them doing it especially because it's a probably uh, their stats probably tell them that it's like the least, the card that people care about the least. Maybe they do it. I can see it. There's no real precedent though. So it's hard to, um, it's hard to really know what they'll do. All right, we'll just eh, like yeet our rogue and feel a little bad here. Probably run, right? Yeah. 
Escape. We have no Sean. They probably have Sean or like a Brood or something to play middle. What about my keys? I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. They'll, they'll look at what happened. They'll look at what people missed, and they'll make a good assessment. One thing that Second Dinner has done very well that, like, no one clearly, no one gives them credit for, is anytime stuff like this happens, they compensate well. They compensate very fairly for it. It's been pretty consistent with ever, everything that's that's ever happened. Like, some people just show up and they're like, "Why the hell did I just get 500 credits?" Oh, some people got like inconvenienced. They've been very, very good with it. Also, I do remember when the kitty thing happened, and I called out exactly. They're going to refund everything and give everyone kitty for free. I got torn apart for that tank. <laughs> they, should give three for, <laughs> they should give three keys to everyone. I bet you would like that. <laughs> that sounds like something that would benefit you for sure. Um, I kind of want the swarm out of hand. Yeah, you had to be playing during the time to get kitty for free. The kitty they gave for free wasn't the same kitty they released either. Yeah, because that because that broke the game. It's fundamentally not working with the game, so they got rid of it. Eight keys would be justified. So true. <laughs> I think it's only fair if they give us four thousand keys. Do I eat our gambit? It's not gonna work very well. Our gambit's gonna do very little for us, I think. We can vibe. Maybe we get some value out of it like next turn. Four keys, 12 credits, 10,000 gold. I love the four credits. <laughs> 12 credits. Randomly getting 12 credits is, is very funny to me. Just because. <sighs> this could be really good. This card of just a death. Let's do this. I think he does strike. Good hit. All systems go. It's a damn good hit. Where are they helling? I don't know if we go for right. Lady Death Strike and Death. If we're not gonna go for right, we have to win both. There's certainly not helling left, that's a great point. This could misfire if they pulled a bad card. I think we hope for the misfire. Do this, beat death landing left. Can't be double card left. Okay, we're safe. And then we just have to miss. <laughs> Victory. Easy wins. 
chip and a chair, chat. That's all you need. A chip and a chair. I think that's the only way that we win, is going for that line. Uh, I was trying to calculate what other things would look like, and I think that... Hoping that they miss on the Dracula, and hoping that both don't go left. Both not going left is 1 in 4. So, 75% chance of missing on Dracula, because they probably had at least one big card. Maybe, maybe that was their biggest card, you never know. So let's assume the other one was a big card. It's like a 37% chance win. If that means your luck would be exactly 9 power. Yeah, that's how it feels sometimes, right? You want to do sand power? So true. Getting every variant for every album is good compensation. <laughs> I feel like we haven't hit this line in so long. Is it okay to upgrade cards right now? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's ever been not okay to upgrade cards. Unless I'm losing my mind. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, you don't like Dream Dimension? My opponent showed weakness. The moment your opponent shows weakness, you strike. Fast upgrade. So, yeah, the new booster thing is nice, right? The new booster thing is purely additive. They finally got rid of the garbage that they used to have. Successfully baited? Maybe. Maybe I got baited there. I should have played Hope. That was a bad play. Should have played Hope last turn. You just swap those two. Uh, we swap these two and we're in a much better spot. That was really bad. I guess it doesn't matter. We can't play two sixes next turn anyway. So actually it was genius when you think about it. It was actually very genius and smart. Ooh, I feel like not using Beast over here is not right. Yellow shot of Gambit. Yeah, new Patreon animation is really cool. Problem level is pool three complete. I'm sure I'm sure you can find that resource somewhere. I don't I don't have an answer. New Hazma animation is cool because she does a little toot. Because you're going to find out that women fart. Is that why? Two threes, whatever. And also, people can play two, three, two sixes on turn five or four, whatever I said. You just have to believe in yourself. I like your videos, but your thumbnails are so cringe. Well, your name is Conservative Carnage, so no one cares about your opinion. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. Oh. Uh, why even ask? <laughs> like that card and its existence? That is pretty dead. Well, lies in a bad spot for certain. Bishop! Thank you. Can't clear our hand. We're actually just cooked. We have two demons. One is 12 power. I think we're just completely cooked here. Magic Conan is streaming hanging on another man's art. 
Yeah. People have to have an opinion. It makes them feel important even when they're not. Wow, what a ja Okay, chat. Oh, this is great. Wow, what a jackass. I said I liked your videos. I watched most of that all. I didn't like your thumbnails and you attacked my name. <laughs> Man, you seem very interesting. <laughs> you seem like a great person to be around. It's, it's always so funny, dude. It is it is YouTube chat. It's always so funny, dude. People people like people playing the victim is like such an interesting thing. Northern Line actually had like a funny <laughs> Northern Line had like a pretty funny thing about it. It's like trolls used to just like or people who were like shitty online used to like own it. They used to be shitty to you and then just be like, ah, fuck you, da, 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 and just be like a terrible person online. And then they just get banned and go away. But nowadays, people who are like mean online, like immediately try and like pull the victim. And it's like, it's just so weird, dude. It's just so, so weird how people will come and say some like, just, just insult me. But, but I said I like your videos, so it's okay. Just call me cringe. And then I make fun of something that's, you know, different to them too. And then I'm the, I'm the asshole. It's, it's, it's incredible, man. I mean, what did I say that wasn't true? I'm not trolling and being shitty. All I said is I didn't like your thumbnails. That's all. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything. Why am I getting, why am I getting a consequence? Why am I getting a consequence? I didn't do anything. Why would I get a consequence for my action? I, I, I didn't mean I, I, <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to do things without consequences. <laughs> Just, it's so funny, man. <laughs> Just own it, dude. Uh, I think we do want Gamma Lab stuff here. You call him a jackass? They, they know it. They, they're just. They just want to have no consequences for their action. Classic. Average YouTube chat experience? Sometimes. Sometimes for certain. <laughs> your thumbnail is cringe, your name is cringe, surprise Pikachu. When you have your mouth open on every thumbnail like a fucking idiot. I mean, yeah, just own not giving a shit about your viewers and being a shitty person. Now I guess I'll go report your videos. Dude, I was going to therapy, man. Holy shit, dude. For the love of ever, for the, for the, the positive of both yourself and everyone who ever surrounds themselves with you in your life, go to therapy. You need it. I go to therapy too. I need it. It's good for me. Just, just trust me on that, man. Tr trust the dude with his mouth open and his thumbnails. Just, just give therapy a chance, man. It, it'll help you be a better and more fulfilled person, hopefully. That's the goal, at least. <laughs> this kind of person is a shrine in their own. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> go to therapy. I need it. Yeah, it's clear you need it. Just be kind to your viewers. So true. Next time they'll need to be like, ah, like a million of them. Probably should have left here. Thieving is probably the best play. You, you would have thought that someone who watched most of your YouTube videos would pick up on the vibe here? Eh. 
All sorts of people watch my YouTube videos. We always have a card going right. If that card is... If we get eight more... That card is Strong Guy or Dakin, we could win. No, not Dakin. It has to be exactly Strong Guy. Woof. Strong Guy will be 11. And they could just win middle. We get some 07s for a conservative carnage. They continue to yap, and I don't want to give them any more attention. Go to therapy! It'll help you. you. You can get better as a person, I promise. Thank you for your time on the channel. It's truly psychotic to go for. Ah, we didn't need to play Surfer. Hmm. It's tough. We would have gotten the Strong Guy trigger, we would have won. So we did have the 1 and 5 there. Watch them come to Twitch yet. <laughs> I just hope they go to therapy. I'm not saying that it's an insult either. I will I will insult them. But like honestly, man, like if you're if you're freaking out like that over something like that, it's just it's really unhealthy, man. Really, really unhealthy. A lot of stuff to work through. Strong guy left can be really good here. Rogue left can also be really nice. You're not even trying to roast Jeff. It's just funny to think about that YouTube channel and Jeff chant. And Jeff would probably just eat that person immediately. I sometimes like to play with my food a little bit. For better or for worse. I think it's Dakin. A little weird hand to play here. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff would just Jeff would just eat that person. The opponent got here. Okay, you are a um. What's the card? The 2-0 that moves a card? What's that one? What's the 2-0 card that moves a card? Grandmaster. Yeah, Grandmaster or Beast coming down. They didn't tempo Hitmonkey. It, it looked like they tempoed Hitmonkey a little bit. You we just take our blade here? It's a pretty good target. Oh my gosh, Chad, I just snoozed an ad with four seconds left. Like 17 open mouth surprise in your next thumbnail? Nah. <laughs> I'd just rather forget that person exists and hope that they uh, get better.
This is hard, man. I think it's this, though. Killmonger do better in this deck than Rogue? No, you could retool it with Killmonger Nova. But I think that the fact that Killmonger hurts Blade so much makes it kind of tough. If their game plan is to Grandmaster, it's a 50-50 if they hit Beast. Let's think about where Mysterio is. I think it's probably right. I think right makes the most sense for Mysterio. If real Mysterio is right, like Gambit left feels pretty good. Forces, um, actually it probably doesn't matter, right? Either way I play it, it forces um, Proxima right. Because, actually, no, it will, because this will go up first. I think if we're winning right, we're in a great spot. Grandmaster moves monkey to minus four and only Proxima. Yeah, it could hit the land. I don't, I don't think that's what they're doing. I want the extra three though, and this is getting plus 12. What do I want the extra three? Mysterio's probably not left. Either middle or right. Let's take the extra three left. Want a card that compensates Domino picks over someday? Kind of hard to make work. I think we need more, a few more mid-range non-reveal counters. Victory. Other than Cosmo. Uh, I mean, uh, Leech is pretty good at uh, getting rid of stuff. Mockingbird, my opponent's deck? They might have Mockingbird. It would just be for the Mysterios, though. Oh, I gotta run ads. All right, we're gonna run three minutes ads. If you don't wanna see the ads, you can pay $5. You can check to see if we have Twitch Prime available. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Uh, let's upgrade a card. I don't know if there's any cards in the deck we have like any splits for. We have one lady, no, we have none lady sif splits. We might legitimately have zero splits for every card in my deck. I guess I have a surfer split. I have one. Uh, and obviously we have a goaded rogue. It looks so lonely though. I only have 200 strong guy boosters, can't even get close to getting a split. My deck, I'm like 238. I could start working on deck and splits. Well, we could start working on blade. Let's start working on blade. Let's get a fourth blade split. And which blade should we do, chat? I kind of like this one. I also like this one. We'll do this one first. Okay, this is gonna be the fourth split. The fourth split, so it's only a 10% chance for ink. Bet your pieces wisely. Well, what's cool is that we can, we you know, we can choose. We're, we're, we're upgrading a few of these. These aren't it. Hang a Hellberry and a strong guy. Uh, that's what I use, right? Alright, I'll see you in a minute.
This is I'm what we sure got. Everybody's a Binks fan. I have to split the other cards, right? I think I have to split the other cards. Yo, Saucy! Thank you so much for becoming a big fan, Saucy. <laughs> I have some Visa bucks for you handle that YouTube chatter. It's fun, man. Yeah, you know, it's like... When I first... Uh, I have to split these first, right? Wait, we're actually getting a fourth split? Okay, so I have one split. This will be two splits. These ones don't count. Uh, then I need to split this one. I can split, wait. Wait, I can split two of them. I forgot that this one was already loaded. Okay, we'll, we'll do two. We'll do two bets then. I don't really want this one. So this will be the third. This one's the third split. Okay, so the fourth split we will do on the Luca. Oh, wait, no. I can't split that one. It's already split. No, I, d I did this right. Okay, uh, we don't get to do another one. All right, let's see what we get. Swing and a miss. Expected though. Take out the doubters. Um, cool. I, I'm, I'm excited to get a blade split. Blade's pretty strong. Let's play some Marvel Snap. FOMO consumes me. <laughs> consumes us all, man. Uh, I need my deck. Buy the ultimate blade? Never. Ultimate variants are uh, the dumbest thing in the game. I will never ever buy any ultimate variants unless, um, unless they make the change where ultimate variants can actually give you like cool stuff. With no blade in hand, I think we just can get the swarm out. Uh, I think that ultimate variants are like the worst thing that you can buy. They're just, remember, Ultimate variants are just super rare variants. Remember this. <laughs> they are just super rare variants. There's nothing special about them. You're spending like 5x, 10x, whatever uh, super rare is. For, in my opinion, no reason whatsoever. Shrill guy. I agree, BT. If ultimates had some unique uh, sound effects, stuff like that, I'd be much more inclined to buy them. Potentially be worthwhile to buy. Potentially. Maybe not. Definitely potentially, though. Uh, if they magic, we're going to be in trouble. We can dodge magic. We might be okay. What if ultimate squirrel girls had the cute little hats? Oh, that wasn't an ultimate variant. That was the squirrel girl one wasn't ultimate. Neither was Corn. Do mill decks even have a good win rate? Uh, some of them do. Okay, we are decked. Uh, no magic. We still have a pretty decent shot, though. I would I would argue. Problem's gonna be Doc Ock. Doc Ock gets my shard, we're in trouble. 
I have no way of stopping that. Problem is we need to hit left with Gambit. Even then it's a little bit sus. We can even Doc Ock this out of hand and, and then we're in a lot of trouble. If we get a left hit, we should be fine though. I think we'll play it up. Uh, middle or left always wins. Fuck you. <laughs> One in four loss. I cannot believe that was their best play. I, I have no idea what their hand could possibly have been in that that was their best play. They had a hope trigger, right? Didn't they have seven energy? I'm, I'm fairly certain they had seven energy and their best play was just Sarah. <laughs> Ultimate variants are the dumbest thing you can buy besides bank membership since he attacks his viewers. You want to say you attacked me for... <laughs> Dude, he actually came to Twitch chat! He actually came to Twitch chat! Unbelievable! Holy! Oh man, that one is so easily going in the Chatter Hall of Fame. Oh man, that's so that's the easiest Chatter Hall of Fame I've seen in so long. Sorry to my opponent here. Dude, so many people called that that would happen, too. Um... Yeah, I don't think we call him wing, we just vibe. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that person's real. We're in a really weird spot. Dude's been lingering that for a while. They were trying to get their words straight, man. Oh my gosh. Thank you for ban- I was like, why did this someone ban them? And then I saw the second thing that they said. Thank you. Yeah, that's really sad. Uh, it's in the Chatter Hall of Fame on Discord if you want to see the first thing he said. Uh, we won't give any, that person any more uh, time, though. They're clearly very, very troubled. I think we eat a gambit here. I think we eat a gambit. Also dropping a hard C. I mean, I don't care about that personally uh, because it's really only in like the US and Europe that that is really like a bad thing to say. Even most parts of Europe don't, don't really care. Nice kitty. Shame. Be a shame if someone took it. Is Yolo a swordmaster here? I didn't want our best card anyway.
Chat, I think we are cooked. Actually, I don't think they can win with just Red Hulk, right? They can't win with just Red Hulk anywhere. Maybe if they hold Vision and play Red Hulk middle, they can get us. They'd have to hold Vision middle, which is, it seemed, in my opinion, a pretty hard thing to want to do. I, my guess is going to be Vision... Hmm. Uh, Vision left Hulk middle also gets us. Hmm. Yeah, Vision left Hulk middle is most likely, right? I don't think we can beat that. Vision left Hulk middle, it just makes too much sense. Like, this is close, but it's just a little too short. Yeah, Vision left Hulk middle gets us. I was thinking Vision Middle, Hulk right, but like why would they ever Hulk right? That'd be kind of psycho. I think Vision left, Red Hulk middle makes the most sense for them. Even the US, it's uh, becoming more common, especially in the uh, gay community. It's a pretty strong positive. I just, I hung out with a lot of Australians in college, so. The, and I watch a lot of Australian comedy, so the, 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 that word doesn't really matter. Uh, no, Chocolate Rain. Uh, we're just going to forget that person existed. It'll live in the Chatter Hall for you. Know, so. How's it up, Contrary? It's solid. Uh, I don't think it's going to break the meta by any means, uh, but it's a very good and fun deck. Cool, different, unique way to play Surfer. I'm contractually obligated to snap if they play Quicksilver. Vision Middle Hulk left. It's actually not as bad as you'd think. Because uh, the Hulk would still get all of its additional power. Ah! What the heck, man? I just have to pray that this doesn't hit Dakin. If so, I think we're fine. What the heck is going on, man? I'm so confused. Time's up. Time's up. Ty left. It's probably worth the tie left. What were they cooking? World may never know. That was Agatha? It was not Agatha. They have the same amount of cards in their deck. Thank you, Stay. I think we win no matter what, right? Because it just goes to total power. Maybe, do we not win total power against Stegron? Two, five, eight. We had two, three, nine. Oh, we won total power by one point. I understand Quicksilver, but Domino, no? Why would, why, Domino's way better than Quicksilver. Why would you understand one but not the other? 
I'm actually interested in your idea behind that. Domino increases your turn one draws. Slightly, but it increases it. This is just always, always bad. Uh, no discard is in hand. I think I get the swarm out. It's really interesting how much we play swarm as a 2-3, but I, I think it's like fine. Quicksilver always starts on the left side of your hand, so he protects you from spider hand. I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're playing Quicksilver in your deck, not planning to play Quicksilver on one, I have, I have no idea what you're doing. Like, if you're playing Quicksilver in your deck, but aren't planning on Quicksilvering on one, I, I'm, I'm confused. They don't have any other Millers, right? Shouldn't. Quicksilver's real tech is against Red Hulk, so you aren't floating energy on one. I gotta play something. Can't just do nothing. I don't think I play the Calling Wing, though. I mean, why not though? Surfer is like a 3 8. Oh, why not? Points. We like points. Make sure we just. Oh, then it hits Gambit. If it doesn't hit Gambit, then Gambit doesn't go off. It's pretty bad. Okay, we pass. Why rogue for this? Okay, let's see, on average, 10, 20, 26, over 6 cards. On average right now, Gambit's getting us 5 power worth of value. Or 8 power. They probably just play even stronger cards. Problems we're not doing anything with Dazzler, but that's fine. As long as they don't have it, it's pretty good. give us like no value sometimes. Maybe Swordmaster is just better. I wasn't expecting Doom, I probably should have. That's a pretty makes kind of sense. And our big problem there was having to play Swarm and Prox out of hand. That's pretty tough. We didn't have an idea that they were mill until two when we already played the swarm. Learning some excellent quicksilver strats. What about Corvus Glaive? Uh you can't you just can't play it in the mid-game. Eating two of your cards, you, you don't really get any benefit from the energy, right? Because if you're eating two of your cards out of your hand, you're just not going to have enough energy to play. You're going to have more than enough energy to play the rest of the cards anyway. I don't think Corvus makes much sense. You could retool the deck to, to, to use Corvus, maybe. But I think, like, straight up, it just doesn't make sense. Actually, we might just Swordmaster.
Yeah, the Gambit also could have hit in the, the blade too, right? And that would have been a disaster. Uh, Swordmaster right feels great. Hmm. I much prefer hoping. Maybe it doesn't matter as much. Can you pause the game for a bit? You can. I need to go buy groceries. I mean, you could pause. Alright. Oh, Fuck. Yeah, great draw. Okay, I think, chat, I think this is the Sandman deck. I think this is the Lambie, Lambie Sandman deck. I'm fairly sure this is the Lambie Sandman deck. Which means we have to... Double Swarm Strong Guy, maybe? No, Double Swarm Rogue. Uh, this turn? Oh, oh, yeah, they are going to play Sandman. Yeah, Sandman's coming down this turn for sure. Maybe not. Horses Proxima Middle. Probably need more left. They can't win with just Red Hulk, which is really important. Uh, yeah, Proxima is forced to go middle, yeah. Strong guy over server for Sean reasons? If they're playing Shang-Chi middle, we're just gonna win, right? It's like their whole turn. It was a really good game. Uh, I, it's lucky that we didn't need the, the player on Sandman, but I'm happy that we did. Uh, give me one quick second chat. Opponent. 
strong. No hope in hand. I think it's just Lady Sif here. Force it right. Pretty good. You replace Proxima with three and a half in Bakus. So true. It actually would be cool. You know what would be a cool thing for Mbaku? And I know I hadn't really thought about this. What if you just made Mbaku like a 4-6 or something like that? I don't even know they're already dead. I might have to do this before the final turn though. Please, Blade Calling Binger Swarm. Ah! <laughs> I needed any of those. I could still maybe win right. Might just be cooked here, right? I guess the sentry can or the gambit can save us. Gambit has hit exactly left. I think either of these would work. Maybe any of them. Anything left. Gosh! Victory. Unlucky for my opponent, that is. True 50-50, that's a great point. True 50-50. That's a good start. Put a gold conquest this deck. It could be it could be pretty good in conquest for sure. It doesn't really have many bad matchups. Probably has a lot of issues with Hella. Loki can be troublesome. Right, it's by no means great, but it does it doesn't really have a bad matchup spread, I would say. There's nothing that like cooks it. It's okay, chaos. I'm good, man. We did I did lose to Bill. I don't know where our team is at uh, this week. This is what we got. I did lose fan. lose my league match today, unfortunately. Oh, easiest gambit of your life. Even if it hits Surfer, who cares, man? 10 points. Yo, Chaos, thank you so much, man. Uh-oh. Mill deck, you discard your own cards, you piece. You discard your own dang cards. Wouldn't the usual classic discard be an improvement to this deck, though? Wouldn't the usual classic discard be an improvement to this deck, they say?
You know I'm your biggest fan from the creator side of things? You already know, baby. Insanely rude. Pretty good card. Uh, to get cook chat. Maybe they don't have a single card that's bigger than six. I think they have Doc Ock though, which is kind of scary. <laughs> oh, it's just big enough. Stegron kind of crazy. I respect it. I'm a I'm a Stegron respecter, man. Problem with Arshem is you can't reliably put any card in there. You can reliably put whatever card you want. You can't reliably draw it. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Thanos Arshem. Thanos <laughs> Thanos sounds terrible with that, but it will be funny. I'm gonna try and get an Infinity Conquest with um with uh, Arishim if it comes out the way that it looks like it's coming out. It's like my dream card. Ah! I think it's still smart to thin deck here. Ooh, we want to push that left because we have no other way of getting over there. Hope Arishim gets a little bigger body. Or just not cost seven. Like I think Arishim, it's already a it's already bad to put it in your deck. I don't I don't really think they needed to like add that it's um Opponent snapped. I need to get the swarm. I think we just do this. I need to get a one and three. I it does, like. There's already a huge disadvantage of playing the card in your deck. I don't think they had to like add that it's a seven seven. It is cool that it's seven. Honestly, make it like a seven sixteen, legitimately. Like if you're gonna go in, go go all the way in. You know. I think we're cooked, man. <laughs> I, I unfortunately think that we're cooked, chat. Actually, I have like a lot of winning chances here, I think. I think I have a lot of winning chances here. Ah, I could have played left. Shit. I think right is still better. Also, it doesn't really matter what Arishim's stats are, like that much. It matters a little bit. Big hit, right? Gosh! Dude, Gambit's been cooking, man. Probably be like high evo. How how is what? <laughs> what do you mean it's probably like high evo? What does that mean? Give me one second.
Someone said shout out to the Jalen Johnson jersey. You're wrong on two parts. First of all, Jalen Johnson is now number one. Second of all, uh, it's a Peanut Tillman jersey. Jalen Johnson changed his number like two days ago, I think. Alright, that's thin. Yeah, Blob will probably be in those decks, almost certainly. And then you could get another Blob. Uh, yeah, exclamation point playlist, I think. Mm, they have their Phoenix Force line. I don't think we have anything that can beat it. If we have Gambit in hand, maybe we risk it for the Biscuit. We're almost guaranteed to top deck it. F it, we ball. It's like high evoke because the 7-7's seven, uh, bad in hand. Yeah, but like, I, in my opinion, the reason the high evoke is like bad stats is because you get a lot of benefit from it. Like... <laughs> It, it's worse. It's bad to have that card in your deck. Arshan might not be the worst card in hand, though. Oh, Chad, I just got the end turn bug. Game it off the top. 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 <laughs> uh, maybe if I close and reopen. One thing about Snap, dude, the reconnect feature has always been sick. Saved. Surely their card can't be bigger than 19. Might just be Tribunal. Yeah, the reconnect feature has been good since day one of beta, which is crazy with the other like issues that they've had. Miss Minutes. <laughs> <No. laughs> That'd be funny though. <laughs> it wasn't my fault before, I guess. Is fair. They might just swap and do the, the Human Torch Zola line still. This uh, Shuri might be bait. I can't believe we never got a Gambit though, man. The only card left in our deck. We did so much deck thinning. They might be roping us because they thought that we roped them. Which is fair. Yeah, they did just do this whole line. Smart. It's a cool little misdirection. Oh, Tracker's glitch just because I uh, closed and reopened the game. Oh, 
All we needed was a gambit that came in. We've been in a great spot. I just saw a post by Glenn about this. It's uh, been found getting fixed in the next patch. Pong. <laughs> the game didn't expect you to pay energy to play Proxima. That's what broke it. The person's name is Dara is my sunshine. Me too sometimes. It's good that they don't have um good that they don't have Red Hulk. This deck definitely has Red Hulk. Good chance they can't play two cards here. Snap. Next turn's probably strong guy unless I get something I really like out of them. Like this. Oh, I quite like that. Uh, I watched the first episode of Fallout. It's great. Want to extend the game? Kind of crazy that you're the one who wants to extend the game. Quite surprising. Opponent snapped. Okay. Maybe they're turning this off somehow? Probably have my surfer by now. My cards. Still nothing that's rogable. Uh, sounds great. Love you. Should be able to activate, um... <laughs> this land can never be fully known. Damn, we lost right by one. Wow. <laughs> the shard. We went tiebreaker too. Well played. Maybe I should have thought about Legion a little bit more. Love seeing Walter Goggins and anything. Yeah, he's great in um, Righteous Gem Gemstones.
Chat, should I get a small fries, a fried chicken drumstick, or tofu? Is my side. Dude, getting to play friggin' Swarma? I feel like I haven't done this in a long time. Tofu, tofu? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's no reason for that. Roasted oolong milk tea. I want that. Hey, you get the fries. I like fries a lot. I am reborn. I could just go hope in a gambit. They shouldn't have Mobius in the deck. We can just let the let these swarms cook a bit. All these are pretty good hits. A sixty percent chance to hit a good target. Now we just have to get to our rogue. We want to, um, we want to Lady Sif first because if we. Swordmaster first, and it hits the Proxima, we, we always kill the Surfer. Does it matter then? I think that's still correct. I just want to swap these. One and four to get rogue. Rogue would be really, really important. I am Apocalypse. Rogue would be huge here. We throw Baxter building, we fight left and right. Probably gonna prove Morbius like Modok left, I would imagine. I don't know. That's not, I don't know. Fan. Okay. Going all on left was was really smart. Using all of our biggest possible cards to go left. Very good game. Yo, Valo! Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Victory. Super appreciate you. Very, very good game there. New York games are really fun. New York's one of my favorite locations in the game. 
Thank you, Morbius. We heard you. REI Apollo, welcome to the stream. Best of luck to you. Down. I feel like every time we've had Gamma Labs, it's been the middle location. Cool deck tonight? Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. A strong man. No brood. I specifically said no. Uh, let's run some interference here. I very clearly... Are you, I'm the first person that says they love New York. Why would you not like New York? What's, what's the hate about New York as a location? It's very, very interesting. New York makes for, like, by a huge margin the most, um... In my opinion, by, like, a huge margin, New York leads to, like, the coolest games. Spooky? I think we're cooked here. Escaped. Yeah, that, that brood middle is really hard to get through. Sinister London? I mean, that's also a good location. Like, just because Sinister London's good doesn't make New York not good. <laughs> it's genuinely one of the worst design locations in the game. It's pretty much just a coin flip. You think that New York games are pretty much a coin flip? Who's, who's going to tell him? <laughs> If you, I'm just saying, if you think that it's a coin flip, that says more about you than the location. I think that uh, New York leads to insanely tactical games. I think saying it comes down to a coin flip is crazy. If you're going to say that, you might as well just say every game comes down to a coin flip. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Three good targets in hand, too. Game is largely RNG with strategy sprinkled in. Tell that to Lammy. <laughs> Not only are going for it, I think that's just a, a great play. Now, we're going to run into some trouble with having way too many swarms. And strong guy never triggering. Maybe that's okay. Strong guy can just be a three three power body. Let's snap. Because oh, I actually, I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I actually think I might lose. <laughs> I, I think there's a chance that I lose this game, so let's just let's just snap and get him out of here. You think New York creates the impression of tactical game, but at the end of the day, it's really just a coin flip. It's not though. <laughs> what do you mean at the end of the day, it's just a coin flip? Both you and your opponent make very decisions based on having an, ex an extended amount of decisions that you can have in the game. To say that New York is just essentially a coin flip, you you're just it's just wrong, man. <laughs> it's it's just wrong. I just I don't know how to I don't know how to answer that. Is it a location that can make you win games? That, it, it actually it adds more variance. 
I would argue it adds like more variance than it than us in so many situations. I'm just I'm I'm shook right now. But you don't know if they're gonna move it. That, but that's why you infer and you you make a decision based on how they're playing and what the board looks like to to make an informed decision on thinking if they're gonna move it or not. You don't know what your opponent's gonna play any turn. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, dude. We do not fill this. So that's literally a 50-50. What are you talking about? I don't think they're going to go right. Uh, I have to be sure. Get two more. Enjoy your rouge. There are too many permutations to actually make an informed decision, hence it's a coin flip. Uh, the, the entirety of life forming on Earth has too many permutations to calculate, so therefore it's, it's either 50-50. It either life exists or it doesn't, you know? That's just, uh, like, you're saying something that doesn't make sense, and you're saying it confidently, and it's confusing me. All right, we're going to run through its ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5, or you can use a Twitch Prime subscription. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Make sure that you're uh, playing on Twitch. Goodbye. Fifty-fifty is when it just fills your deck with random cards. That's still not a fifty-fifty. <laughs> what is going on, dude? It's still not a 50, like District X isn't a 50, 50. District X, like it, it, it's a 50, 50 if you get the better cards, but you can still outplay your opponent by a lot. I'm so confused, man. Now, if your argument is that New York makes it so it's very hard to guess your opponent's outcome, and therefore, I don't like it because I feel like I want to play the game in a very straightforward way and that much kind of randomness or possibilities of outcome is unfun. I, I get that. That is a nuanced and opinion that would make a lot of sense. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. I can understand not liking it because of that. But to say it's just a coin flip, I think is, is I think it's a bastardization of what happens. And I think that better players will win New York games more. Speaking confidently about something you're completely wrong about is the best thing to do on the internet. Now that is true. That is very true. Like, like I, I get that you can say that the, 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 the amount of permutations it presents to itself can feel bad, but saying that it's, it basically turns into a coin flip is is just wrong. It's just wrong. If it was two location game, maybe, but then it just goes to tiebreaker. This is what we sure got. Everybody's a I just, fan. I just, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. Maybe I'm just too hung up on the fact that you're calling it a coin flip, which I think makes no sense whatsoever. Because I think coin, like saying it's a coin flip makes makes just about no sense. Some games that can kind of feel like that. Do they go for this lane? Do they go for this lane? You move cards or you don't? 
but there's a bunch of cards on the field and you could move them in any order in any position that you want it's your choices aren't move all of my cards or don't move any of my cards that's not what happens <laughs> Like, you don't get the choice of moving your cards or not moving your cards. There's so much more behind it than that. It's a coin flip because the game forces you to flip a coin to determine whether you move a card or not. <laughs> it's a coin flip, you should always stay so you don't lose cubes on average. Nick, uh, there, there's the... <laughs> Where is it? Settle with a pull? I don't have to settle with a pull. That doesn't even make sense. I will I will upgrade my blade though. Infinity. I'll be back in a minute. It's all just coin flips? Always has been. A split decision whether to move cards or isn't isn't the same as the location being 50-50. You get to choose if you move, if you move. You also take inference. You also have to think about what your opponent is going to play that turn. There's there's so much that happens on, on New York turns. I feel like I'm, feel like I'm going crazy, man. Welcome back, Adam George. Thank you for enjoying the ends. Uh, what do we got? Got the doubters again. 83% said ink or crackle on a fifth split. I, I gotta give the doubters credit for, for taking the odds there, man. Why is it a coin flip and not a dice roll? It's not even a dice roll, man. Okay, so Ad and Joris might not have heard this. Here's what I here's 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 what I think. If you're saying you don't like New York because it adds a level of uncertainty to what your opponent is going to play, and you don't like that about games, that that's an understandable opinion. I I get where you're coming from there. If your opinion is saying that, but but you're saying it's a coin flip. I, I think is an insane bastardization of what happens on New York turns. You have to think about what cards they could move, which cards, which lanes they're going to go for. Based on their deck, what cards are they going to play that turn? There's so much to think about. I think that just saying that it comes down to a 50-50 coin flip is is uh, it's psycho. It's, it's, uh, it's truly, truly deranged. And, and if you don't like that about New York, that's fine. That's that's a that's a, a fine opinion to have. But I think just saying that it just comes down to a coin flip, I think is uh, incorrect. I like the thought process that goes into New York turns and trying to outplay your opponent. I like it more than most end of game turns, personally, by like quite a bit. There's plenty of people who probably don't like that and that's okay too. I ain't doing shit with all this extra energy, bro. <laughs> Uncertainty about what your opponent is doing in corporate or power games. But but saying that there's a bunch extra and that's why you don't like it is understandable, in my opinion. 
Escaped. Where's your AK tokens? Uh, I paid it out. <laughs> New York turns Alaska turn into a borderline esport. Jenny, you keep saying you you decide the 50-50 to move cards or not. So you're saying that it's the fact that it's a 50-50 for every single card that could move is the problem? Because I don't understand, like... <laughs> I, I don't understand what you, what you mean by... You keep saying 50-50. I'm, I'm trying really hard to explain why I don't think 50-50 makes sense in this context. And, and then you just keep saying it and it's confusing me. Uh, I think we have to pass. Doesn't feel great. It's 50 50, either you win or you lose, so true. Okay. Now Gambit sucks, man. I think I need this here. Please don't hit my strong guy. Thank you. I feel like this piece is gonna play. Uh, maybe they go Darkhawk or um. They're either gonna Darkhawk middle or Darkhawk left. Going for Iron Lad. Probably not with the plus eight they're gonna get. Definitely not with the plus eight they're gonna get. Should have thought about that a little more. Uh, I don't think I had a way to play all my cards though. Like if we go Colleen Wing Proxima, do we win? I don't think so. Would it tie? No, we did win with Colleen Proxima. No, because then we wouldn't have gotten the plus two on the strong guy. No, we didn't have a winning line. It's tough. I think what it means is that if both players are stacking the non-New York lanes, then turn six, both players can decide to play for any two of the three lanes. Well, sometimes it feels like you won or lost based on which lane you chose to contest. That can feel like a coin flip. There's a lot of strategy to set up the scenario that isn't a 50-50 and also work out which lanes you'll find easier to contest and the ones that'll be more trouble and consisting, so not a 50-50. I can get that it feels like a 50-50 with the choices you make sometimes. That makes sense. Ego is generally easier to calculate than New York. What about an Ego and New York game? What about that shit? I actually don't want swarms. 
I was just gonna get swarms, but swarms are bad. One drops. I like these ego to move a given card to New York. Uh, ego will try and do stuff until it can't. So it'll always fulfill New York if it can. Yeah, turn six often feels like a 50 50. But I, in, in my opinion, like. Lamy calls it what, a 51 49? Like, reading what your opponent is going to do is a very important skill in Marvel Snap. And so you can make a choice as to what you think your opponent can do to make the odds more in your favor. That's like, in my opinion, one of the most important things of Snap. Maybe that's also why I think calling it a coin flip is not correct. Because there's so many inferences you can make based on both of your hands, both of your boards, what you expect your opponent to play based on what deck they're playing. Like, you shouldn't have it be a 50-50. It, it, sh it shouldn't feel like one. Uh, Twitch chat is not subs only, no. Ego does like to do stuff. Yeah, Agatha is the same way. If they can move a card, they will. It's an interesting part of the code. I think I'm going to try and win here. I think I'm going to try and win there. Call to prevent Red Hulk. I mean, what's a 19 power Red Hulk compared to a 15 power Red Hulk, you know? It's not that much different. Alright, we we're basically just saying the game comes down to this. <laughs> for our opponents some well-deserved nux for that just wing um no matter what we draw just wing is fine such a 50 50 fight for hollow oh uh, i guess it doesn't matter if it goes back left Pretty sure that'll win a lane by itself. So close, man. So close. Good Surfer, we won. Almost always? Surfer would have been a little bit weird, actually. Surfer's. Is... I can't have anticipated Miles, but I, I maybe should have. 
Probably should have anticipated 90 or miles there. 50-50. <laughs> Ain't the Red Hulk has made it impossible to play off curve? I mean, uh, no, it didn't. Doesn't make it impossible to play off curve. You just get punished for it. It's like saying, I hate that Chung chi makes it impossible to play 10 power cards. Feels a lot worse to play off curve for certain. Well, I'll be. Every <laughs> turn there's a 50 50 chance your opponent will play cards or not. Be like a 30 power Red Hulk? Eh, they're beatable. It's frustrating for, for certain. Sorry, I know I'm always on the phone. I'm being an always on the phone guy. Uh, always on the phone, this guy. Always on the dang phone. Start playing strong guys. It'd be hard to thin our hand enough. Play the real one. Really want blade. I having access to blade feels really bad. What if we play the shard out? I don't think we can. It's like next turn if we do this, this doesn't activate our strong guys. Maybe this turn we just gambit. This feels really bad. Bum, bum. Mic's muted? <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Maybe get the mics muted. Here for the tweet on the coin flip. I'm already right though, like what, what's the point of... He gets lonely when no one is in him? Huh? <laughs> it's a 50-50 there'll be a tweet. <laughs> so, so true. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. God damn it! Or they have to win another lane. Chat, you know what this kind of comes down to? Kind of comes down to 50 50. <laughs> kind of comes down to a 50 50 when you think about it. Um, okay. I think they're going to play something in, in Sentry. So if they're going to play something in Sentry, they probably think this is going to go off. I think they play it left.
I think they play Sentry left. I'm scared. <laughs> I get so scared when I hit unturn and they don't hit unturn chat. Nah, I don't have the domino dice roll emoji. Alright, let's change it. They probably switched their sentry middle, so let's change it. I didn't actually change it, chat. Didn't actually change is the thing. Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I, I have no reason based on their play to think that that was a stream snipe at all, except for I hit and turn and I got terrified. <laughs> Good call out though on the century. I just get so scared, man, when it's at the end of the turn and I hit and turn. Hi, right, chat. I think we had a very successful stream today. It's eight o'clock. Uh, we're going to be doing a stream tomorrow. I don't know exactly when, but at some point tomorrow, we're going to be doing a stream where we play half Snap and half Bellatro. 50-50 chance to Sniper. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Thank you all so much for being here. Appreciate all the subs, all the support, all the love. Like and subscribe. Uh, bonus Mashra, I think I miss you. Also, Dave the Buck. Thank you all so much for the subs. Super supportive, Dave. Uh, Xmage Point Discard. Switch Point Discord. Uh, if you want to get in on the stream tomorrow, and you want to know what time it is, I'll post it at some point tomorrow and figure it out. Come here. This is the only place you can get it. If you're watching on YouTube, okay, yo, what do you still love? Like Super awesome deck builder. Really great creator. I'll see you all tomorrow at some point. I don't know when. Peace.